welcome as I place these words into your care. There are those upon the earth today who in silence wonder why their God did not move them closer to his heart as promised for May 21st, or so they thought. Others cry out for the same reason, as silence is not their way. Yet in the face of this perceived desertions, others scoff and laugh and even ridicule. I would invite you to do otherwise and remind you that compassion offers many other rewards. It is humanity's way to mark light and dark moments and to measure these as holy days pinned to contemporary calendars. Dates are way showers. They are markers of man-made or artificial time. They aid the progress of events on earth but the realms beyond earth are guided by a different landscape, where natural time is more expressive and less arbitrary. Your present calendar was inspired and created long ago by men of reason, philosophy, and science. It is one of many ways to measure the passage of time, but it will be replaced by other calendars too, as cycles within cycles continue to refine time and eventually reveal a need for a revision. Presently, then, every religion, organized and not, is at work studying books of origination and verse, hoping to find in them prophetic messages of distinction and honor for one people over another or at least that a people or a religion should be recognized as guests of God before others can claim the same prize, as if arriving in second or third place corresponds with being less beloved. Science also studies the same books and different ones as well, looking for clues by which a race might advance or even postpone its evolution. Heaven and earth, then, are all contained and indeed moved by the great cycles of progression. Yet these yield only to the great arc that moves across the dark sea and the light sky, an honor and privilege that belongs only to one and oneness. No man, religion, or idea is above this universal law as all are contained within its exclusivity already. Know this then, arbitrary dates invented by man for man will ultimately remain in moments that time will forget, lost to the smaller currents that are easily absorbed by the larger landscapes of time that expanded minds and hearts will ever aspire to. Any date that is derived extrapolated or imagined based upon the writings of men who think as gods or gods who are men in thought are still guesswork. For then as now these are fancy findings and artful blends of culture and myth. The wisdom of the ages is elective but not selective. It does not omit or shun those of another teacher or teaching. Time does not bind together dates of ascension for one people. And this is true regardless of structure or thought. In other words, the slowest mind and the quickest wit are equal in this endeavor, as are those whom style and substance has graced with more and plenty than others who may still suffer in servitude or lack. Know that prophets are but simple messengers, shuttles designed to go before, between and beyond the loom of time that was left behind by the weavers of experience. Their message may or may not be timely, and it may or may not apply to you. Be at peace in that. Do not turn a blind eye to the investigations and beliefs of others. If, however, you choose to be blind, 
to what others see or believe? Then make your blindfold out of the fabric of non-judgment and choose to see only this. Do not raise an eyebrow at the beliefs or choices of others, even if you do not find reason or merit in them. Be impeccable in your own thoughts and deeds, so that your subsequent actions will bear both fruit and wisdom. And study well the calendars of the ancients and the visionaries. Follow them across time and tide. Find the markers they have left for you and cross the thresholds that are still in place. Yet know that these will only advance you to the next step, after which you will begin again. For dates with destiny are few and far between, and not nearly as exciting as they may seem from this vantage point. In closing, remember that the architects of this world were and are wise and original in their thinking. They have designed the grand cycles of emergence and advancement to be within your reach at all times. The smaller gears and cogs within the great wheel act upon the larger ones, and these, again, are within your reach. Be well, then, and be at peace, and other words will bring us together. I bid you good day.